unfortunately absent tonight because he had a family thing that came out of nowhere that he had to deal with. And Sherry Maynard, who was our new member, mm -hmm. has already resigned. Oh. So I don't know what that's anyway. That's so it's it will be the four of us at this point. <coughs> so we need somebody. We need somebody else. Yeah, I saw that um, this afternoon. The line's not really long. No, I know. <laughs> All right, so item one on my agenda was meet and greet new members, and so that's what we have done. Well, do, do you, yeah. Can you tell us about yourself a little bit, please? Sure. Amit. My name is Amit. I was I'm born and brought up in India, capital city Delhi. I have been in U.S. for around eight years. 2015, I moved in here, Hubbardston. I have been living for around five years. I have a wife and a daughter who's almost five she'll be five in July um, wanted to do a little bit of volunteering and give back to the community so I guess it was just a delay and once I got my citizenship I was much more motivated to do it um, yeah and it looks good on resume as well as you know it goods for um, your own personal development as well so all those factors made me decide to go for a volunteer role here Pretty much. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a computer engineer. I basically lead uh, a data operations team which oversees the file transfer and uh, the automation for, uh, uh, for the Medicare IT company, which we are currently, uh, we are independent subsidiary of Blue Cross Blue Shield Michigan, but currently we just got bought out by another company, which is UST Health Group. So we are in the process of transitioning, but we are into Medicare IT, and I lead a team of uh, uh, five people around uh, who is responsible for file transfer and orchestration, the batch process automation, basically, of the organization. So, and currently I'm pursuing my MBA from UMass Amherst. Oh, great. That's my al alma mater. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's pretty much it. Well, good. Well, you've, you've come in at, at an exciting time, <laughs> as, well, as you can, as you can, you, you might know. Um, our next subject is going to be a discussion of uh, the operating and capital budget status and process. So I will turn it over to to Nate. Beautiful. To tell us. What is going on? Hi, Emmett. Welcome. Thank you for volunteering. My name is Nate, Nate Pudro. I'm the town administrator. I'm also new to Hubbardston. I just started about three months ago. It's been fun, and I look forward to working with you. The You came in at the perfect time because the budget season is just going to be starting. If you're available next Monday evening, there will be a joint meeting of the Select Board and Finance Committee to hear the the operating budget proposal for the year from myself. I'm putting the finishing touches on it and making all the graphs and stuff right now. So it should be ready to go out either Thursday or early Friday morning. And that we, a couple weeks ago, we had the capital improvement plan kind of hearing. You can watch that on the city's YouTube or on the local access channel and that did receive approval from the Capital Improvement Planning Committee, of which Chuck is on, the one member of this committee yeah, that, that you here. have not met. He's the liaison from the Finance Committee to the Capital Improvement Plan. Due to a lot of the COVID-19 stuff, the capital plan has kind of been beat up a little bit. So I'm hoping that in the next couple of years, we can really ramp it up and try to do a lot of purposeful things heading into the 2030s and making sure that we're doing what's right for the capital and not just buying stuff to buy stuff. And so, you, like I said, you came in at the perfect time. Monday night will be good. It's my first ever budget presentation, so let me know how I do. And Let me know how I can help. Yeah, <laughs> uh, other than that, there are a couple of issues. They're not, they're hurdles. They're not roadblocks. Like the, we are having a little bit of a hard time getting the school to be within reason. Like Susan and I went to a meeting last week where they came out and said their initial starting offer for an increase was 14.6% over last year. It's just not plausible. <laughs> like that would, that would take everything like, so just even they're kind of budgeting from 
your wildest dreams down where we're budgeting from nothing up. So it's been a wild ride for the people like Jeff, who's the chair of the select board, who've been around for a number of years. This isn't the first rodeo between Hubbardson and the school, so that should be interesting to watch. <coughs> They're getting a new superintendent, so maybe this can be a, a time of transition into something that might be a little more transparent and workable. So, but you'll learn a lot about that as you go, and we're about to start. I'm going to do, I don't really know what was held before, but I'm going to do a series of budget hearings for the general population to come and talk about the budget. There's a good chance no one shows up, but at least I can say, hey, I did it, I held them, I gave you the opportunity. A lot of residents in other communities that I've worked in before have had a lot of questions about the town meeting process and coming from being a town clerk prior to this that's a little bit of my specialty so I'm looking forward to helping anybody that may be new to the town meeting process get acquainted with it and attend it's as a new citizen and congratulations on that it's one of the most important things you can do like they say your local select board has a more a bigger impact on your life than people on the Senate or in Congress because it's directly impacting Impacting. your life, your wallet, and your family. That's where we are right now, and I'm here today asking for money. (laughs) I have a quick question, if you don't mind. So, uh, and more sort of curiosity, the uh, Hubbardston Central School, the budget is not separate, right? It comes from the club in itself. It's all one budget. But we don't have any visibility (laughs) into how much is allocated to uh, Hubbardston in particular. Their hand is also limited in a way to, like at the meeting we were at, they have it a little easy because they could pass the buck on to the state. We can say, oh, it's you guys, you're being unreasonable, and they have, oh, we have to go to the state. And Susan hit the nail right on the head by saying, yes, that's wonderful, but that's a long-term plan. We need something that's going to help us financially right now. Right. And yeah by way of context the school um, takes up 60 cents of every dollar so so that's the single biggest biggest budget driver for us and so something that large already asking now for 15 percent on top of that is is completely (coughs) unmanageable so that's the that's the opening that's 15 percent not 15, not bringing it up to 75 percent. No, I got you. 15 percent of 60. Yeah, yeah. of what? Yeah. yeah, of what we paid last year. Yeah, 15 percent. Even at right. six percent, which is what I'm budgeting, even though Susan doesn't want me to, because <laughs> it's too. Like, is 88, almost 89 percent of all of our new revenue. tax money, our new revenue. Wow. 89 is a big amount. 89 is a big amount. <laughs> sure is. Do we know how much we can afford? As in, like, if we... 4.5% over last year would not require any use of one-time revenue, which sounds incredibly reasonable, but apparently it's not. 10% more. I know. And I've said, you can go back and watch the meetings even just recently. We've said time and time again, Hubbardson supports the schools. We want to have intelligent kids who are well-educated and cared for at the school but not at the not to lose everything else yeah exactly yeah. all right so we will look forward then to are you going to are you going to give us a sneak preview and and email something out thursday mm-hmm. and friday okay, yeah, there's either thursday or friday morning depending if tomorrow's a snow day i'll probably be able to get it all done yeah if if tomorrow's a snow day Snow day. Starting to or is it snow day? It's snowing now. Yeah, yeah. School has been called up, so it's surely a snow day. <laughs> <laughs> I run a tight ship on the side in the morning. <laughs> okay. And are you, you are giving us one budget that is going to be at a 6% school mm-hmm. increase? And then I will provide you with all of the other numbers. Okay. And the 6% doesn't balance without free cash. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. If I wanted to, because previously my predecessors had brought it to where they could balance, which mm-hmm. was 
three or four percent, and I even thought about doing a five-year rolling average, mm -hmm. and it was way too low. It was under. No, yeah, no, no. This is this is. I've not. I've never seen anything like this. No. It's a, it's a double-digit increase, and they recently had an increase last Huge year increase. as well, I believe. It's it ridiculous. did, but, but it, it increased. Uh, at the end of the day, it increased. I think two and a half percent. So this is almost almost ten times more. Like an in your face. And they do start with very high. Hi, yeah, yes. they wanna. They so wanna. Then if they yeah. get you down to six, you can say, "Phew, at least it wasn't 14. <laughs> but we. Uh, that's just tactics. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but this is this is really in your face. I, I mean, know. this is this is. This do we have any good. communication with the towns around as well mm -hmm. on this? And do they? May I ask, what's their opinion on this? Do we know? Their reaction will be the same as ours, yeah. because less. all yeah, because their numbers, all the numbers are kind of clustered around this double digit, double digit yeah. increase. So it's just easier to fight if you are you have the numbers over the school, right? Rather than six. You would think. Yeah, I know, I know. The so. things I hear in the news with all the <laughs> <laughs> all the and there's a Barry is slightly larger than Hubbardston, mm -hmm. but Hubbardston has more affluent residents. Got so it. the the mathematics of it just make it all kind of wonky. They're the largest community and they pay the largest assessment, but we're not far behind. So, any more budget talk? That's pretty much it. Either That's pretty all, much we, it for now. Yeah, we're gonna just have to wait, yeah. wait, and it's, wait until Thursday. It's the same old song happens. and dance. Like, it it's is. not much different. Uh, at the recommendation of a couple of people, I shortened it a little bit because I said, "Hey, just play to your audience." So I'll keep it, keep it simple, keep it nice. Okay. All right, good. Jeff, got anything for us? Got anything? No, I'm just <laughs> as miserable as the rest of you about, <laughs> about this, you know. It's, yeah, okay. I think we've played this scene before, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a precursor, no one asked for anything unreasonable, and we're still <coughs> having to make a couple of cuts. I think they're all, all the departments are working well within their means. They're doing what they can with less and less every year. Right. Alright. Next, I have prepared some minutes of our prior meetings. Finally. And I am happy to share them with you, but you can't vote on them because you weren't at the meetings. So oh, no worries. Yeah, so you don't know if they're right or not. I am so. still getting the lay of the land kind of what this is. Yes. <laughs> Trying yes. to understand. Right. Um, you know, the last 10 minutes wasn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, trust me, I know it's just a part of what you guys do. So I know it's a major chunk, but there are other things, you know. You guys keep the town running, so. Motion to accept the minutes. Thank you, and I second. And no discussion, all in favor? Yay. Great. I will email those to you if you want, but I'm going to take them and sign them, and then I'll post them, and then we'll be caught up until poor Chuck does his notes. Now, next we have other new business and matters not anticipated by the chair, and that would be these things. Our, uh, this request. Um, I am unmoved by virtually all of them. So, have at it. So, over the last year, there's been a few unpredicted issues. My predecessor left, and MRI, the, the first one, mm -hmm. is a company that ran the hiring of the town administrator. So they did all of the interviews, they did my background check, they did everything. Mm -hmm. In theory, could it have been 
done by the select board or a board of townspeople? Yes. But the at the time, with all the turnover and limited volunteers, it was chosen that the best outlook and possibility would have been to go with MRI doing the the search themselves. The next thing is Greylock Confidential Investigations. There. Oh yeah. Any questions was on that, MRI? Yeah. Was is was this their entire bill? Yes. Oh okay. So it was nine grand. Nine, nine grand was the whole. Was the whole gig. Was the whole. Okay. No okay. bonus. No. No. Okay. All right. Next. <coughs> I am <coughs> limited on what I can say about. Well, then that's the problem, about, isn't it? About because this one? I don't. We can't. Because I don't want to approve things. Blind. So. There was a personnel issue in one of the departments, in a public safety department, that required an investigation into an employee, and we were bound legally to do that investigation. So Greylock Confidential did said investigation. Said as much as I can, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Is eighty five dollars a standard rate? Right? The the other one the other uh, companies or whatever you call private investigators that we looked into were much more, if not double, that rate. Like I at least let them let them know nothing was found in terms Yeah, nothing was found. This was all it ended up being just he said, she said type stuff. So Was the complaint filed by someone from the community? The complaint was filed by a member of not our community. It was a member of another community with... So if someone makes an accusation and we have to spend <laughs> 6500 bucks to... $30,000. We're still spending. And we're still spending. It's still costing us. I don't think that's fair. Mm -hmm. it's, it's certain departments. What is the path? to the resolution of this problem? Fast legal six or seven times. Unfortunately, people have rights, and people are allowed to ask questions and do public, public records requests and make statements and make accusations, and there is red tape to those accusations, and it is not something anyone wants to see happen but unfortunately it's a it's a scary world out there and is this not covered by insurance this no no all right is this solvable with money no no what do you mean it's no solvable unfortunately with time and you mean this complainant cannot be paid to go away i don't that's know that's what i mean by being solved by money would be interested in money she is of a certain mental state and believes things that may not have actually happened or are actually true she, she basically is, it's a fine line yeah. so you stopped me too but uh, starting without a legal since we are in a, a public elected board, etc., cetera, um, we're talking about the First Amendment, etc., and anybody can ask for anything that they want. Uh, and it, she's just not going away, and essentially we're in the thousands of emails that over the last three or four months, goes back to Ryan, that this started, and it continues daily. Um, we've been threatened with a with suit, she's gone to the state level. She is is she is she represented by counsel? No, no. That would be the way out. That that's our way out. That would be the way out because I see. if she were to do that, then legal can do something because we've done nothing wrong. We can't initiate legal action. No. She, she has every right. Very. Well, she has every right to ask she, for everything she asks. She asks for all our minutes. Every time we have an executive meeting, she she assumes it's 
about her issue, which is an older issue because there, there is no, no issue. issue, but <laughs> she keeps it demanding, and then when she doesn't get it in time, she goes to the state level. Yeah. She's been bugging them as Other much as she's bugging us. Other communities are involved, and so it's, it's, it, it, it's literally a daily thing. We, we get, uh, Sandy was, when she was uh, the interim, she, she was having difficulty just trying to do her work because she was getting these and demands, etc. I mean, it was, it's been an awful, awful thing, and it tends to continue. Right, but this is abusive process, and that's, that is not protected by the First Amendment. So, I... You're an attorney. I, Speak up. I have some thoughts on the subject. So, but first of all, we are talking about <coughs> the investigator. 90 hours? I, I questioned it, too. And what did you learn? That I have a whole document of the things he did. And what do we think about what he did? What it's intense and really deeply investigated. Did it help? It solved the issue with the, with the personnel. Like the personnel was able to be found free and clear by the select board. That there was no after the investigation. Yeah. All right, but that did, okay, so that that solved the personnel yes. issue, but did did but did not solve and perhaps no. aggravated yes. the this other thing. Okay. All right. Cuz it's past the personnel issue now. Well, right, now that's what I'm trying, now yeah, I'm trying anger to fish and this resentment out. regarding the personnel right. issue right. and Right, the, and the person wanting to take the personnel issue up another step, but there's really no more steps. There's nowhere so, to go with it. And okay. what legal has also said, the one thing that we can do, and we basically have made this clear to the individual, when she's requesting all of these things, um, we cannot by law say no to the request, but because of the harassment in a sense, the amount of hours it takes to get the paperwork redacted and this and that, we can charge her. Yeah. So I sent her a bill. For the work hours. And until doesn't we're paid, she doesn't get what she's yes. demanded. That's more she's, like it. She's yet to That's get a copy thing we of can this okay. because I sent her a bill for three hundred fifty dollars. Good. And I'm okay. Only, Here we go. And I'm Solved only, by money. I'm only allowed per the open meeting law and the public records laws to charge up to twenty five dollars per hour because you can't just pass it over to me and say, here, Nate, go and do that. And, no, and but that'll we'll be enough because this person does not have any money, yeah. does she? I don't believe so. I have no mm -hmm. I think reason to believe be that. If she had money, she'd be paying a lawyer. All right. Okay. Then in that case. And I did learn that possibly, I wasn't here when they hired the investigator. Yeah. But I think the whole board and myself learned that in the future maybe set an, a time frame, like, oh, let us know where you're at at 20 hours or 30 hours. Well. Because 85 hours is quite substantial. There, there, there were a lot of interviews, et cetera, that they went out and gotten, besides interviewing those of us who were directly connected to all of this. So, and. What, were you involved? Oh, yeah. Just the, I was an head executive of the municipality. Well, I also was. Right, but were you involved in the incident that? No, that but, but, um, how much can we t tell? Not less than we've said. Well. <laughs> Let's put it this way, I was... Well, yeah, except you want money from me, and I'm not inclined to give it, so you got to come, one of the reasons you gotta I, come one of the a reasons, little further. One of the reasons I was interviewed is uh, when the individual who was being accused uh, was in court, not for that issue, but was in court, uh -huh. as the chairman of the board, I felt I should go as a sign of support. Mm -hmm. And as such, at, in the Gardner Courthouse, I was a witness 
to, okay, all right, so that to, okay, all right. to this, so they interviewed me okay, because that makes she was sense. claiming she, one thing right. and she was there. Right. And I saw the whole thing, so he interviewed yes. me. Okay, so you were a fact witness then. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Um Anybody else have any questions? Any more questions on that one? All right, so that's that one. And it didn't help that all the Vertex stuff was happening with the with the cell towers at the same time. What's the Vertex? Stuff? I don't know what that Legal is. Legal issues involving the planning board and cell phone towers. What's that about? Is that in here? No. Oh. That's just, we, I think Kelly had to pick one, and she picked this one. Probably looking back, maybe we should have picked Vertex, because it's a little easier to explain. Has to do with a permit. I see, yes, yeah. And our board, yeah. the zoning board turned, turned them down, and they took us to court. Yeah. Because they had no right to turn it down. <laughs> and it's still, are resolved so yeah which, board, they which would have made me matter that's a, a good question mm -hmm. yeah oh yeah oh yeah all right so that's that one now what do we got what is this thing VHB did a phase two environmental site assessment of the town pit it was proven that there is lead contamination where the police department used to use as their shooting range. Yeah. All right. This is not the whole bill. Like, this is just a little chunk on top because uh, ARPA paid for a majority of this. It's either ARPA or CPA. Do you remember? No, I don't, but, yeah. it, but ARPA doesn't... Yeah, this doesn't sound like ARPA. Well, no, ARPA I think bill. CPA paid for this. So why isn't yeah. CPA paying for the rest of it? Because it went over budget. Well, too bad. This belongs with CPA. Thank Say aye. All right. So these are the so these are the three things. Yeah, and then an overarching request for the rest of the money because there's not. There's no money left in legal. How much money do we have in the in the in the pot? Thirty thousand dollars. And you want it all? Yes. And this is March. And our fiscal year ends in June. Barring legal catastrophe. I don't see anywhere else in the operating budget that could cause an issue that would need to go back to the well. And in that case, there would be no more reserve no funds. Way. Yeah. So what options do we have other than to approve this? Not approve this. Not approve it. Right, and, and what then what happens? Happen? I figure out, probably go to town meeting appropriate and it would come out of free cash yeah. and we would likely not use the thirty thousand dollars and it does not roll over right which would be nice if it did good point but, yeah right. I just wish it was May right now rather than mm -hmm. early March So for my understanding, that 30000 is for like the town and it's to be for operational purposes till the end of June, is it? It gets appropriated um, at the beginning of the fiscal year. Okay. And this is our emergency fund for unexpected <coughs> things that show up. Do we, how much do we usually keep in the emergency fund? We usually keep between 30 and 35. It used to be 35, and then lately, because we've been squeezed, it's dropped down to 30. And I'm we proposing have, 25. We have, no, we have not, I do not think, I've been on finance committee for nine years, and I do not recall ever spending it all. We usually spend practically none of it. 
So this is a means we are doing good. <laughs> you must be doing good job budgeting. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we need to have this kind of baloney. Yeah. This wild card. Um, So is CPA seriously an option for the uh, environmental that work? Is, that, is, that is my reaction, is the, what's it doing here? They screwed up their own budget. That's that. I don't see that as a problem. I want to say my predecessor us. agreed to the additional work. I don't care. How's that? <laughs> what was the, I mean, I would ask what was the agreement exactly. Yeah. I can look into that. <coughs> I agree with Susan, like, they across their budget, why should we particularly pay for it? I mean, if there is any particular reason legally or any particular reason we should, yeah, sure, but just why us? I do believe that because Ryan's name is on this, it was a, a separate deal to finish the project. Well, here's what I think between October 30th and November 26th, 2022, which is was the last month of the project. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it, uh, this was CPA funded that had additional costs not included in the original budget. We have to pay these two final bills. No, we don't have to pay them today. We do not have to pay them today. No. What I would do is this suggests that we pay we we agree to pay the GCI Legal. invoice. This person got our person off the hook. And so that's a good thing. And we should pay him. These guys, CPA people, can sit and legal has got to produce some results if they want to get paid. So my suggestion would be to approve one and sit on the other ones and uh, let's get closer to the end of the year and see where we are. There's no issue with that. So we have two requests from legal. Is it? Um, I agree we, with you. I'm just I think understanding we just have one. things. We just have one, right? We have what, one request for legal to, oh, okay. to for for sixteen thousand five hundred and eighty bucks. Is that what we owe them? No, the request is for six thousand four hundred and seventy dollars. Well, what am I looking at? You're looking at the amount in in the in the legal account. I'm looking at nine thousand. Oh, that's 9,000 as far as town administrative search. All right, so that was that one. Yeah. That was that. Who signed this the paper? Thing. Where's the other one? 6,400 and change, right? Nathan? Yes. Oh, 5605. Right? <laughs> it, it worked out that they all have their. The reason I'm asking is you said we'll, we uh, you said that we'll pay this one but sit on the others. Are you saying like the others that will come in uh, next month or something, or others among these? There could not be others. There will be. We know there will be others now because the motion, if there was one, would be to not pay all of these. So I may be back with more information or a different request. But what the Chair is saying if she would feel more comfortable if we were closer to the end of the year, ensuring that there's not going to be some sort of major issue. That I think that, that we might think is a higher priority than these. Okay. So is there a cover page for, for the GCI invoice? Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, you double sided me. That's why I'm having so yeah. much. That's why I'm having so much. The GCI trouble here. is on the back of the paper All about right. the GCI. Okay. There. I'm calling down. All right. So that's the 
that's a bite. This is sixty four seventy. Yeah. The GCI one is eighty nine twenty five. Yes. Because that's what that's let me reprint these. <coughs> How <laughs> MRI, the municipal resource, nine thousand dollars. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then it, right, it, 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 goes like a, it goes like yeah, a book. It's a book. Yeah. yeah. I'm figuring this out now. A book. Yeah. 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 Yeah
4,500 oh. and the other 4,500. There's two 4,500. Oh, that came in. They split the nine. They split uh, the charge in half. Uh, so thinking that that would improve its payability, <laughs> which failed miserably. <laughs> Today is what? The 13th. Filling out the copy so we can we'll be able to sign it. to sign the transfer disapproved one. We're going to just not do anything. Yeah, we're going to not, not do anything with that. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Is there anything else that anybody would like to talk about? Any, any questions? Any anything? We can I will have questions, just not today. <laughs> yes, yeah, no, there's a, you'll, you'll get a load of everything yeah, once the, budget, the, once the, the budget shows up. The budget shows will up. stimulate questions. Yes, it will, like, yes. <laughs> from a lot of people. I'm sure. Yes. And so you'll learn from just observation in many cases. That's, that's the intent, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, anything else for us? All good? All right. Can you Motion. take these home? Yes. Yep. All right. All right. Okay, Seven sixteen. Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Move. Second. All in favor. Seven sixteen. Great.